Hello and welcome back to the channel. Well, today we've got a bit of English walnut from one of the trees on the farm. You see me put a seven and a half mil hole in it for my woodworm screw, and we're straight into uh, knocking the back edge off with the bowl gouge. It's just about in balance, sort of. Spinning at 1440 RPM there. Now, I've been wanting to do this project for a long time, just never had the uh, time or the inclination to sit down and actually do it, but today was the day. So just getting it uh, rounded off there. I do like the way walnut turns, some lovely ribbons coming off it. I'm just facing the back off now, ready to put my uh, recess in the back. A little bit of shear scraping around the outside. Just a rough sand to 80 grit there. Round off a few contours. Caliper's set to about 46 mil there. Should give me a 91, 92 mil recess. Putting a bit of a dovetail on with the parting tool. Good old Yorkshire grit. That's now sanded up to 600 grit and then Yorkshire gritted. And some shine juice for good measure. Just want to flatten off the front face here, doing a bit of shear scraping again. Starting to get the hang of it now. Now this bowl is going to have more rim than bowl. It's going to have a feature section in it in a moment, so I'm just putting the inner bowl in now. And that there is all the bowl that this bowl is going to have. So I'm just separating off where I want my outer rim and my inner rim. Hogging it out with the parting tool to about a uh, depth of 10 millimeters or just under half an inch. quick sand on those front faces. All right.
Right, so here's the fun bit. I've had these peacock feathers for maybe nine months. I bought them for this reason and then just uh, never got around to actually using them, so... So I'm just uh, CA gluing the back end of them down. I tried a few different styles of this. I had four and then I had six. But we ended up with seven. Not the easiest things to work with feathers. They don't really sit where you want them to. So here I'm just tidying up the tails and CA gluing them into, into place. One thing I did learn is that uh, Peacock feathers have got this iridescent nature to them, which only works in direct light. If you put them under epoxy, uh, you lose a lot of that shiny green colour, which is a bit of a shame. I watched a video of Nick, uh, Nick Zametti doing a dragonfly, and that was exactly the same. He ended up with a brown dragonfly instead of a nice green one. And uh, don't worry too much about those bubbles. I... Um, Got a bit excited with the drill when I was mixing the resin. Always like it to be more mixed than uh, not mixed, if you know what I mean. I left it for a good half an hour and then uh, touched it up with the blowtorch, got rid of all the bubbles. Uh, this is uh, 48 hours, no, more than that. This is three days later after a second pour of resin up to the level of the top rim. And I didn't want to take a chisel to this, I just wanted to um, take a 180 pad and sand everything flat rather than putting uh, chisel marks into the resin that I then have to get out. So that's at 180 grit. And I sanded this all the way up to 2000 grit. And then with uh, Yorkshire grit microfine paste. And then a liberal coat of shine juice. And then just putting a bit more shine juice on the back of the bowl again. Shiny, shiny. I think that's my favourite picture of it there, where you can see the, the flatness of the top and the contours. So, I really did enjoy making this bowl, it's a lot of fun. So, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a share and a like and a thumbs up and all that good stuff. If you've got any comments, uh, I'm more than happy to read all your comments and reply to them all. If you've got any ideas that you want me to do, suggestions for bowls with interesting things in them or on them, I'll uh, consider every option. That's a bit of dust on the surface there, it's not actually bubbles. Just <laughs> I uh, should have took another picture, but I didn't. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.